Hello. I'm sitting here over the culvert and pushing the edge of the frozen water. There's some of the water flow. And pipe one, right over pipe two. There's, there's my gloves there. And uh, we're uh, about to close things up for the night. Just kind of looking at the patterns on the pond. Might be easier if I stop squatting. Do you see them? But, uh, I see the hair with a uh, dripping nose as I've been out shoveling for an hour or so. And this is the last thing I'll do before the light lets out. <coughs> See a couple of interesting patterns of the snow having been pushed <coughs> and shaped. And uh, I'm looking at you know, quite frozen water. Uh, like a bubble I would call uh, from yesterday. Uh, newly frozen. This wasn't the shape that the uh, frozen water had matched to. And then new shapes uh, formed in the crusting and thawing and moving waters during the day. And of course I'm standing on uh, a lot of snow here. And then shoveling snow and hearing the water flow and looking at the still water and the, the frozen, the newly frozen, the somewhat thawed. And snow that's dropping off the juniper, and making this more interesting. Baker's sugar effect. I'm just kind of thinking about the ways of water. And it's thinking about water being, you know, integral way of understanding the kidney in traditional Chinese medicine, the kidney being entirely wrapped up in fear and water being understood as something that flows necessarily, but fear doesn't seem like flowing. Fear seems like a tightening, you know, a little bit more of a molasses, if not stasis feeling. I'm just kind of thinking about you know, what is the flow in fear? Review. And what is the flow in fear? And maybe it's a matter of patience and there is flow, but you don't see it. It feels like stasis or rictus. <clears throat> if you're patient enough, you'll see that it flows. Maybe it's possible that nothing that feels fear forever feels fear. But we just need the patience to see that. I don't know. But I'm just going to <coughs> connect to the energy coming up from the coccyx. Oh, there's the uh, snow shovel and the beaver baffles over there right by the water here. See if that gives you the view. Until I, I slip and fall in the water and or drop the phone. I guess I should show you the moon as well. The moon is up there. Just uh, I'm presuming you can see her there. And uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to work on my song. Releasing, 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 releasing. And then that energy that flows into the tips of the coccyx, or the, the weilu, tailbone, even just the base of the spine, near the hu yin, near the 
the seat. I'm going to purposely watch that rise up to the, the Ming Men, the Gate of Fate. The, the uh, lower back at about the level of the navel. This is where we start to see a transformation in Chinese medicine between what came before and what comes after. Uh, this is really where fear lives. This is related, of course, geographically to the kidneys and medicinally, philosophically to the kidneys. But we don't have to understand all that. We're just releasing the body so that in a stasis, like I'm, or I was standing still until I started to say that, I'm standing still. But I'm trying to feel the flow of the song, the flow of what appears still to be settling down. So if nothing else, I'm kind of reminded that flow is possible in what appears still. Further, I'm trying to watch the energy rise up the vertebra or the spine or the coccyx or the sacral section. I'm using imprecise terms because if we add precision then people start to kind of knit their brows and think physiologically. I'd rather think a little bit more emotionally here, a little generically, a little poetically. The connection that kind of works for me, going to the, the, the water idea is you have a glass of water, uh, I'm out of hands. Uh, I guess I can try and do, can you see my hand? Yeah, 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 it won't work. Anyway, you have a glass of water, say 20 centimeters of water, and you drop an ice cube in, and now you have 23 centimeters of water. You know, it's that idea of releasing something down raises the, the, the water flows upward. And so that sung in the body, the release from stasis, the, the seeking flow of the physical body, even if I'm not ambulatory or gesticulating, it creates an energy rise in the lowest of the spine, coming up to about the level of the navel, near the kidneys, the lower back, just that area is fine. The Ming Man, if you know what it is, that's what I'm aiming for. And so that release actually creates a flow towards the kidney, towards the shift from what was and what will be, the gate of fate. And we draw that, we draw from that the idea that release leads to movement, movement leads to a home not made for fear. And then that path, which I'll endeavor to show. Yeah, I don't think I have the position for it. But anyway, if you can see my hand here. Yeah, this probably will never work. <laughs> anyway, I'm trying. <laughs> anyway, that path up from the coccyx to the lower back that then allows the energy to travel from the lower back through to the center of the body towards the belly button itself. So it comes up in the back, enters into the body, and naturally flows to the, the physical center, the Lo Dan Tien. And it's the place from which we move. So we shift from uh, slowness, tightening, uh, paralysis, rictus, uh, stillness, or even apparently so, into uh, the place from which movement will begin, and will begin in a balanced way. So that's the little water meditation. And as it feels like it's 20 degrees out, I'm going to head inside before the water starts dripping out of my nose. I think I'll shift and give you guys another view here. I'm 
a bird's nest in the tree there. Um, I'm thinking the sun has gone down now. So thank you all very much. And Good night.